Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. Of course, it's pretty much um, viewer questions day today. Uh, there's not that much happening in the world of Windows and, and PC, so we, I like to go through uh, comments and look at questions that come by. I do get some through my email also. Um, the question that I got today was, why isn't Microsoft letting us use old apps? when they replace them with new apps. And a great example that I can show is, of course, using Outlook rather than Mail and Calendar app. So why do we get forced into something new? Um, two main reasons. I think the first main reason is probably Microsoft just wants you to use the new stuff, and that would be really the number one driver to going to these new apps, um, because they just want you to go there uh, and use it. And uh, even if you don't like it, and even if the change is not something you're happy with, uh, that's the way most companies anyways act. Uh, it's not a, a Microsoft thing. Uh, go ask Mac users when they change a version of an app for something else. Uh, you'll see that there are groups out there with a lot of un uh, uh, angry people that are not happy. It's, it's universal. Um, the second would be the security aspect. Um, it, the problem with keeping an old app um, is that it could have security flaws. And because the old app doesn't get updates, because that's also something that they would have to care of, if they would have you keep old apps with the new apps, they'd have to make updates for security on the old apps if something happens. So that makes extra work for them. So basically, they're pushing you to use a new app. They want you to use a new app for sure but they also don't want to take care of the old apps afterwards. So, because that would, you know, you would have too many, too many people working to fix things. So it's, it's, you know, partly they want you to be there and partly um, they just don't want to take care of the old apps and have security updates. So let's make sure that nobody uses the old ones. Uh, so that's why they're really, really pushing ahead. I've seen a lot of comments, by the way, this week. People using the mailing calendar saying that there's crashing error messages. Um, I think, I don't know if it's on purpose from Microsoft or it's because they're just not updating them really anymore and that now suddenly they're maybe not working as well. But um, at some point, you'll really have to move. Uh, Microsoft, you know, there's a lot of apps that when you do little, like, you know, commands, uh, some apps come back. Like, you, you can have, you know, in a command, WordPad come back if you wish. It's not totally kind of gone, and you could reinstall it if you want. But for some reason, uh, Microsoft really pushed it hard this week or last week by saying in a blog post, we don't want users to have mail and calendar and use it anymore. It was like very drastic. No, you're moving to Outlook and whether you like it or not. So uh, anyways, reasons explained, whether we like it or not. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.